Hey folks, welcome back to part 10 of our Queen Bee Build series. In this series, we're moving on to the electronics, and today what we're going to be doing is we'll be wiring up the motors and the limit switches, so stay tuned. The first thing you need to do is lay out all your cables and connectors to ensure you have everything you need to complete the job. I am using high torque motors for my build. The four wires coming from the motor are connected to one of the two coils in the motor. Refer to your manufacturer's diagrams for the motors. They identify the colored pairs for each coil. Simply install the connector on the wire with the corresponding wire colors seated next to each other as per the manufacturer's documentation. To install the long wire run, I simply use the opposing connector. I put them together, then I can simply match my color codes on my wires across the two connectors. This allows me to ensure that all of my coil pairs are connected correctly. After you wire up the four motors, you need to ensure that you properly label the four motor wires. We'll be adding wires later so it can get confusing. I labeled mine Y1, Y2, Z, and X. The assembly of the limit switches is easy. To assemble the open build limit switches, you simply align the two sides and install the two small black screws. Now there is a front and back, so check the plate to make sure it is on correctly. Do not over tighten the screws, you could strip them out. Next, install the nylon spacer between the two plates, then insert the long bolt through the hole in the plates. The black plastic spacer is designed to keep the limit switch body away from the mounting surface. To wire up the limit switches, you need to identify the signal, positive, and ground connection points on both the open build's limit switch and the open build's black box. Choose a color for each connection point. To wire up the limit switches, first you need to install a connector into the limit switch. Locate one of the limit switch 3 conductor wire bundles and look at the wire colors. For my build, I use blue as a signal wire, red as the positive voltage wire, and finally black as the ground wire. Insert the wires into the limit switch and tighten them down securely to ensure they don't come out. Next, locate the connection point on the black box controller. I insert a connector into the connection point and note the position of the signal, voltage, and ground on the connector. Then I simply align the wire colors from the three conductor wire bundle, insert them into the connector, and tighten them down securely. Double check the wire color alignment on the switch and the black box. For example, ensure black on both ends of the wire goes to the ground connection point on both the limit switch and the black box. If the wires are not correct, the limit switches will not function. All right, folks, that's it. Now we have the plugs installed on both our motor and our limit switch wires. We're ready to move on to the next part, which is assembling the power supply unit, which will be video number 11. And as always, if you like my content, please click like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.